Good morning. Um, on this beautiful Monday morning, have a look at the beautiful day. Yeah. Beautiful day, and um, I'll just tell you what I've been, what I've done for the last two weeks. No, I ain't actually. Um, this is uh, a mess. This is a video for YouTube, but it's also a message for Jesus. And firstly, you know, thank you so much for doing what you've done out of love. Um, AJ Miller, Jesus, delivers the truth meticulously, and. It may seem long-winded, but <clears throat> he can't afford to teach anything that's wrong. He can't afford to just make mistakes in his comments and be a bit glib, because he knows from history someone might take it in, in a wrong way and teach that on and on and on, and Jesus would be getting all the bad karma for the wrong teachings. So he's come out, he's made 800 hours worth of videos. <laughs> it's phenomenal the knowledge that comes out. But the people I'm recommended to go and see <coughs> his videos are really struggling to to take him on as Jesus. And a lot of that is spirit influence. But, you know, so they're the ones who will argue with me and say, you know, it's not Jesus, you know. Um, but then a lot of people just just can't watch it, I think, because they, they, haven't, got, they haven't got the time or the patience to sit, sit through it and watch it. Of course they should, but they're struggling. So I think this is one of the reasons why his videos have been up for so long but haven't taken off. I was looking, I haven't watched one of the videos, well I have now, last night I watched one of the videos slating Jesus and I knew they would be there, a video to sort of pull him down, it's, of course someone's going to have made a video and this video is just awful, I mean it's is is so one way biased, which okay you can understand if it's a video slating Jesus, you expect it to be biased. But there's this guy talking, <clears throat> we never hear his name. You know? The the people slating them, they never give us their credentials. You know, they look all nice and trim and they're sort of very strong minded in their way, but they never actually state where they're coming from. So terrible video. But that's had something like three or four hundred thousand views, and I think Jesus' most popular video has had about thirty thousand. One called "Secrets of the Universe." That may not be his most popular, but that's certainly a popular one. And so, you know, and then out of that, how many people actually watched it from beginning to end? And the reason I think they're struggling is because Jesus is from the first century. He's not of our generation. He entered into this world a reincarnated soul. And, and so his upbringing was different to all of us in this world. And Jesus, this is probably Jesus' hope, and I think this is what's going to happen, if it doesn't sound too big-headed. <clears throat> But we're going to have <laughs> little Jesuses, like me, are going to be a little Jesus. In the sense that I've grown up in this generation. I've taken the time to listen to over a hundred hours worth of Jesus' videos, AJ's. And I'm probably going to, no, I probably won't stop, but I'm slowing down on how much I'm watching and I'm doing a lot more of what he's recommending. And I'm seeing the benefits. But also, on top of that, I'm because I'm of this generation, if you like, I'm a bit streetwise, so 
I can understand the people because I've grown up in the same way as them. And, you know, I also have sampled and tested more of the, if you like, the this generation's tools for dealing with this generation's problems. Does that make sense? And I think God has given us a tool, a really good tool. It's like a trampoline <laughs> that we can bounce up on. Or no, it's like a beanstalk. It's a beanstalk we can climb up on, if you like, to, to speak to God, to get onto that level, to get onto a higher level temporarily. And we need to use this tool with, with, um, with respect of what it does. Now, it will only work when you have the correct belief system. Because if you have the wrong belief system, it's going to take you further up the levels and you're going to get to a point where it went, eh, eh, error, right? I've had that feeling so many times in my life. And this tool, I'll just say, is cannabis. So, last four weeks of my life, roughly, listening to AJ a lot, realising that I didn't feel anything emotionally, Blocks, yeah, of course I must have had blocks because I know my life's not perfect. <coughs> Far from it. I've got a lot of work to do. And I was smoking cannabis all the time, all the time, every day. Okay? So I was never getting off cannabis. So I thought, right, well, that's the first thing I need to do. So I had a week or so without any cannabis. And what happened is my dreams came back to me really intense. So I was having like a few dreams a night or two dreams a night and, and quite a lot of sleep state stuff going on. So also I really enjoyed it. So the next day I didn't want to smoke cannabis because I wanted my dreams. I preferred that. And then, you know, five, four days later I'm feeling pretty crap. Um, you know, I'm not enjoying that. But then the next day I'm having a good day and it's like this soul sinking, soul rising as Jesus has explained so meticulously and so perfectly and grateful again you've explained it perfect you're awesome um, so what and then what happened then I had a toke of a spliff like about eight days after I'd last had one and because I'd corrected a lot of my belief systems and I'd I'd say improved my soul state a tiny bit, just in that week of thinking about dream. But wow, the high from the cannabis, I just kept going, going, going. And I went through levels of love and I was feeling some heavy, yeah, not heavy love, some fantastic love. And there was no this <coughs> error bit anymore. Because I had corrected my, my belief systems about the truth of the universe and God which is what Jesus is offering, if you have the patience to hear, right? And you, you can't, I'm not going to be able to just repeat that, because, well, I can repeat it, you know, the secrets of the universe, which I have done, you know, some of the main ones. And I suppose that is helping, so I'll keep doing that. So, and then I did another two weeks without cannabis, same again, lots of dreams. Um starting to work things out, working things out from the last dreams, realising what they were. And, you know, I am now definitely progressing, without a doubt. Right, and I've just come off the back of a weekend of... I'd, I'd got sort of... I'd made three spliffs worth of cannabis, but then last night I ended up going around someone's house and they were smoking cannabis. And I thought, well, since this is on my weekend, I'll, I'll smoke some more cannabis, so... So I stayed right up. So I'm still, I'm still a level or two above normal. So I still yet to come down two levels until I'm normal. And that will be my normal state. Where eventually I will have to deal with all these things in my normal state. But what the cannabis does. <coughs> and I'm sure Jesus would never recommend this. And there's probably lots of people going... <gasps> I can't recommend that. The cannabis is from God. It is a tool of God. And 
And everything that happens to us and everything we have available in this world is from God. Now then there's some man-made stuff which is bad for you, I'm sure. But it would only be your law of attraction, wouldn't it? If that if God allowed that to come into contact with you, that would be your law of attraction. And I'm seeing this working. So if you haven't heard of the law of attraction, definitely watch one of AJ Miller's videos about law of attraction, okay? I'm I'm not I can't explain it like him because I can't remember all the facts. And I don't want to be responsible either for someone taking it and changing it and learning it. I don't want that karma. So I'll say now, you know, anything you listen to and practice in your life, use your own due diligence. And this is where this is where a lot of people have, you know, been really anti AJ being Jesus. They've got they've got some other interpretation of Jesus in their mind that he's not filling. You know, and a lot of that is because of the Bible making out that Jesus is practically God. Like in that film yesterday watching them slate Jesus. They said basically that um, Jesus was claiming he was God. You know, so there we go, an outright lie. But I know people who have watched this video rather than watch the video about what Jesus is actually teaching. So watch his video, Law of Attraction. It's amazing. He's he's spelled out the laws of the universe, <clears throat> which I've written down and summarised here. This was I wasn't planning to do this. I just thought I'd give you some of the law of attract laws, laws of the universe. Okay, loving laws. All loving laws. God is a loving God. <laughs> and I, you know, I was totally. I was with God yesterday. Yesterday, I was, I was, <clears throat> I'd finally sort of unblocked some of my grief, and it was with my younger brother, and <clears throat> I was just saying prayers for people, feeling in a high state, and I said a prayer for my mate Adam, and then I was like thinking of my dad, and I was thinking, well, I've already done a lot of grieving about my dad because he just passed recently. And then when I thought of my brother and just wanted to say a prayer to him and send some love to him, I really began to realise the errors I've made towards my younger brother. And as you can see, this is what real emotion looks like when you actually tap into it. It just happens. So you now maybe think one one of these Ala J Miller guys just starts crying. But tell, believe me, it's beautiful if you can connect with your emotions. Because afterwards you feel better. Not only am I making myself better, I'm making my younger brother better. Because I'm releasing some of the shit that I've been caused to him. So in a sense it is a gift from me to him for the first time, really. Not first time, but I should have done that when I was young, two years old. Instead when I was two years old I used to frighten my little baby brother. You know, I couldn't, it's been, I've been blocking it out and I haven't... I'm sure I'm still blocking more and there's more I have to work to, but I'm probably just going bah, bah. And maybe you can say that's a harmless thing, but to a baby, to have this brother going bah, 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 really ugly in your face must be shocking terrifying. And, you know, I made that decision out of harmony and love. I didn't make the decision to love him as my older brother loved me and I've got memories of hugs with him and everything. And, you know, he did awesome. And I, you know, I made that bad decision then. And the thing is, I didn't deal with it for 37 years. 35 years, which is crazy. So that was why, that was my breakthrough moment in a way, you know, to, to have gone through the feeling, the anger blocks, the fear blocks, the grief blocks. <coughs> anger... <coughs> <coughs> anger wasn't a major thing with me. It was it was definitely fear blocks around things and if you feel the fear you don't want to go there but if you just decide to do it and you know it's important you just do it right Rocky Balboa you just go to that fear face the fears right and as soon as you start feeling feeling it and deciding you're going to go through with it you've passed the worst and it's not that bad so just do it right you're not going to die Unless you've got a major heart condition, and again, take anything I say with your own due diligence. I do not want to be responsible for the karma, okay? 
Right, so I'll just tell you what Jesus has said some about the laws of the universe. And if you haven't heard about the soul and the soulmate yet, I mean, pause and go back and do some research. Use your own due diligence. This is real. It's more real than anything you've ever had in your life. I promise you that. And I was speaking to God yesterday. Yes, and he is a male and female. And I did, I did for the first time in my life feel that mother part of God and that father part of God as separate and I did feel it and keep listening you'll, you'll start to understand maybe right law of attraction everything that happens to you is sent from God and is the raw material for your soul to develop okay law of attraction including nothing so when nothing happens to you what's the law of attraction saying you're saying well sit there and think this was happened to me a lot. Law of compensation. Reap what you sow. Okay? Everyone understands that, don't they? Soul. Everything's about the soul, you see. Everything's about the soul. Forgiveness and repentance. They're laws of natural love. And, well, yeah, I won't get into that. See? I mean, Jesus explains it properly. Because he's the one who spent 2,000 years in the spirit world ascending all these levels. And the only reason I'm here doing a video, I did just think before, no, I, should, I shouldn't make any more videos. I should just say, just go and listen to AJ because he explains it all perfectly. But I'm beginning to see that he's old-fashioned. Hello? He's 2,000 years old-fashioned. And all of the ones that have returned with him. They're not hip. Right? Law of grace. Law of divine love. When you forgive or repent, God is drawn to you. The love enters and the cause is removed. So that's when you true repentance, right? Law of free will is a divine law. Support and enable other people's free will. The law of free will applies to everybody. So you have to be careful in everything that you do that you're not taking away someone's free will. So when I'm saying go and watch a video of AJ, I'm not trying to take away your free will. Free will. Well, I am, I suppose, so I shouldn't say that. I recommend, for your own good, that you listen to more of AJ's videos. Uh, but not too much. Don't get addicted to them. Don't just be playing them in the car and thinking about something else, you know. Watch them from beginning to end, and then go away and think about what it is you need to do. <laughs> Law of cause and effect. Never deal with effects, always with the cause. Yeah. Then this like comes into the stuff with the healing, you know. You hear you want to heal the, the boil. But the reason you got the boil is something to do with your soul. Something to do with your soul state. So go to there. Love is a gift and cannot be demanded. Law of love, law of truth. So they're just some of the laws. So yeah. I think I covered it in that rant. Did I? So, yeah, cannabis can be a tool. And God agreed with me yesterday, and it's part of God's plan. That's the reason it's here. It's, the reason, it's, it's here in such abundance for other reasons, because, in a sense, man has <coughs> puts his taint on it, and people just want to make money, so they make loads and loads of it, and really strong, and give it to kids and stuff, and, you know, without any sort of... The, even when I start smoking at 14, there were real etiquettes about smoking cannabis. And that, that, I don't know if there's still some etiquette out there, but... So this is what I'm saying. This is why I recommend you can use it as a tool. Learn about the truths of the universe from AJ. I recommend you do that. I think... You need to know the truth in order to live in the best possible way going forward, right? That makes sense. So learn what's true. If you've got a Bible, leave it on the side. I recommend you leave it on the side and listen to what AJ is saying. He's given us the new truths. When your belief system is correct, or more correct, you can then smoke a cannabis joint of good quality, 
This will raise your levels of love. Probably by about three levels, I think. Okay? So, assuming you, you haven't smoked any cannabis for a week or two. So, for cannabis smokers who haven't had a break, you, I recommend, you need to take a break to get your dreams. You need your dreams. You need your dreams. You need almost all night of your dreams. You have to have that will to learn your dreams all night. Okay? So, it's not really that much suffering. <coughs> when you want to do it, if you want to progress, if you think about what your soul state is, and most of our soul states are pretty poor, okay? If we're over the age of 30, we've been going down for a while, and it's starting to show, right? Those of you in your early 20s, you haven't got a fucking clue, really, have you? <laughs> and those of you in your mid-20s, maybe you started to see that things aren't quite as they should be, but maybe you're still in denial. But, you know, in those in the 40s and 50s, you've clearly seen that, you know, well, you accept it as old age, you, 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 you know loads of people have gone through it as well, so you just think it's part of life and that's what you're going to have to do. But eventually you're going to find that you're going to die and that you're still going to need to sort out your life. <laughs> it doesn't stop, right? You still have to sort out everything. You have to deal with all those emotions. So you may as well start now because it is easier when you're in the physical world before we pass. It's easier to deal with the problems here. And this other thing too, you know, again, Jesus talks a lot about spirits. There are a lot of spirits who don't want this to happen. Right? It's true. I can see him in people. They're, you know, they, there's this natural love thing where you just, from the love inside, you're just all happy with everyone. Yeah, you can do that, but the world isn't going to change in the next hundred years if you do that. <clears throat> if everybody did that. It would take a thousand more years. And I don't think it can hack it, to be honest. God is here as our father and mother and wants to know us as our children better. And we want that too, don't we? <laughs> Is our real father and mother, our real perfect father and mother. Because our fathers and mothers in this world weren't perfect. But they weren't perfect because their fathers and mothers weren't perfect. And it all started from the first two humans that God created on this earth. A man and a man. And they were super beings compared to us. God made them perfect. They were in the sixth or seventh sphere of love when he made them. So I'm guessing, I don't know this that they must have had lots of children and because they were in such a good state they are almost equal to God's children and that's why then soulmates could be made out of brothers and sisters. But let's not get hung up on what happened that long ago because we know what's happening right now. The world is in a very, 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 very low state. Right? Can't get much lower, can it? I mean, the sort of things that are going on now, it's all tit-for-tat, revenge, war, going down a slippery slope, I'd say. So, I'm a little Jesus, because <laughs> I look like him, but I'm not Jesus, no way. No way would I be claiming to have memories from the age of two of someone hammering nails into my feet. So let's not get hung up on whether AJ is Jesus or not. Watch a few of his videos and you'll start to think from all the truth coming out that there's no other possibility. No one could have that much information and deliver it so clearly and well and unprompted, unscripted. Alright, but maybe he's not a cool dude. So you look at him and you think, that isn't Jesus. And if you watch his videos from 2008 and he seems like really in good form. And his outward presence has seemed to have deteriorated over the past few years. Whether this is frustration that things aren't happening because this is the thing with Jesus, right? He he came back into this world. To, he's this is the first time in his world that he's been born with error. In his first life, God tweaked him, he was born with no error. That's why he lived his life as Jesus without making any errors. Perfectly. That's why he wouldn't punch someone back if they punched him in the face. Because he knew it was not a loving thing to do. 
So he was so sure of the love that he just didn't do it. So he made no errors. And he died and he went to the spirit world and he made no errors. He kept going, well maybe he made some errors, but he kept going from the one sphere, right? Got to the sphere, 22nd sphere and was able to reincarnate it. Waited for seven other souls, so there's 14 bodies, seven souls that have reincarnated from, and they were from the first century generation. <coughs> so they are old fashioned. They're not of this generation. He's learning to play the guitar and sing. He's not particularly that good at that. So for him, his experience is to make mistakes. Because this is something I was thinking, this is God's plan. So eventually we're going to have a world with children are going to be being born and the parents may not be perfect, but they're going to be very near perfect so that the children don't grow up with this emotional baggage that we've all grown up with and suppressed and we're, you know, we're very reluctant to go into. This is a conversation I've been people, they're very reluctant to want to go back to their childhood. And they kept bringing it up and up and again and again. So why they have such a fear about it? It's a fear block. So you have to be brave. Just feel that fear block and go for it, man. <laughs> but also, if you have your two weeks without cannabis and you have your dreams and stuff, then if you take some cannabis with your new belief systems, you will rise through the levels of love. It is a tool there that is provided by God for us. We'll rise the levels of love, and there won't be a ceiling that goes eh, wrong belief system. That was what was happening to me, and that was quite frightening. And I'm sure, I bet it's happened to a lot of cannabis smokers who can smoke every day. And I'm sure you know that there is this fear around sort of when you get so high. Correct your belief systems and you go right up there. Okay? So I think I've, I think I've said enough. I want to say again, thank you, Jesus, for coming back out of pure love for us. And I want to say one more message for Jesus. You know, obviously making mistakes hasn't been part of your experience so far. So I think judging on your present condition. Now I shouldn't judge you. I know I shouldn't judge you. I just want to give you my advice. What I feel, okay? I think you are making an error somewhere. You've got an error. And you probably know that. That's probably not nice. And to me, I think the error is Mary. That's my gut feeling, because she doesn't seem to have the memories of the world. But anyway, I'm not going to dwell on that. I'm not going to dwell on that, okay? No, no, I no, it's not Mary, actually. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Sorry, I got through that one. I don't edit my videos, so I apologise that. I made a mistake with my soulmate. The other night, I was realising who my soulmate was, and... It was the one I feared it to be. I went through the fear block, fear block. And hopefully, I know I'm not too late. But I've left it quite long. So I'm 